In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about this moving background particle ground effect that we have going on here. Um, and there's a few things happening here. Let me go ahead and look at this, what people are saying section. So we have our, our particle ground code here. And there's a bunch of parameters you can pass in. And if you go to our website, bsuperfly.com, and you visit our blog, right now it's the, the top post here, but eventually it'll be down here, or you could probably search for it. But if you click this blog post, there is a very long video, a 35-minute video on how to use this effect. And this is the demo that we create. And in the tutorial I even have video playing under a gradient background with this on top of it which is which is way too much um, but this is where you could come and watch this video and find out a ton on this effect uh, a key thing is is that we can't really um, this affects more just for a, just an extra feature that we really can't support since we're relying on someone else's plugin to do this or their or their JavaScript code um, so just keep that in mind. Um, we have it working by default here, but if you try to use this in, in head up here, it's probably not going to work really well. Um, this one right here is just an image, actually, a background image. But that's what got me the idea. When I saw this effect on other sites, I was like, well, I'm using this little matrix thingy up here. I'm just going to work that in. So uh, a couple things are happening here. We have this code in here. that needs to be there. And eventually you might want to go download your own copy of the particle ground. And it tells you how to do that in this video. Basically, I could probably just Google it. See a demo. Yeah, this is exactly it. If you download this, you're going to get um, your own version that you could upload and and, and link to because who knows how long this is my uh, dev site and that might be up for I'm gonna leave it up there as long as I can um, but yeah and then this this one has we have the dots still in the other example we didn't you can change the colors of these lines and dots separately there's so many things you can do um, with this this one is staying still as opposed to this demo where we have it moving around with us uh, and in fact if I play a little bit of this video I'm going to mute this but if I play a little bit of the video you, you start to see how you can get different effects um, that's what we end up with but you can get different ef e effects from this video let me see if I can find where I yeah that, that's where I changed the color a little bit right there and then we also make it make more of them or a ton of them there's a ton you can do with this. Um, that being said, let's go ahead and dig in. So we have that code module there, and then we have our regular testimonials that people are saying. In the row here, nothing special going on there. In the section background, we have our picture. Um, it's set to be a parallax. And then we're using a we're using the pull this down. We're using the gradient background like we did before like I was showing you before um, I believe it's on the services or about page maybe on the blog like this page here this page here up here and this page here we're using the same code there this is causing the the gradient overlay so if we took that off That was on the section. So up here, section uh, before. If we took that off, it, you could still see the you could still see the particles moving, um, and but but not really the the background because we took because we messed that messed that up. There it is. So let's go find this in the code here. All right, here's it. Here it is in the code. Here I'm setting the opacity 
of the of the moving pieces to 20% there, 0.2. Um, so let's actually change that so I can show you what that looks like. Canvas, there we go, 20%. So if I change this to one, for example, it's going to be all the way bright. Or we could do 0.8 or 0.5. 0.2 just seemed the best place to sit it. So there's a little bit of a primer on what's going on there. Um, the other thing I forgot to mention that we have is this down arrow animation. I was supposed to mention that in the other tutorial uh, on the home page. Let me go back to the, let me close this out, go back. Might as well update this and then go back to the home page. On the home page, we have this guy right here, and it's a link that takes you down to the next section. Um, I just wanted to show that we know the way button, and then the results, an arrow right here. If I edit this uh, and go to, go to text, you'll see that we have this code in here that's for the arrow. You want to leave that where it is, and then we're top animating it to have it go down and then here in the code is where we're doing our we're setting it doing some spacing with it trying to put it into place and then we have the animation that makes it move down so this is best used in a full width area um, a single column area so you could just copy this and you could paste it so they don't like when we try to paste it right here I would probably want to go in and mess around with the color and stuff. But now I have one right there, which is kind of weird to have it right next to a button. But I'll go ahead and get rid of that. All right. So I think that wraps it up here for Arrow. Um, just remember, if you really want to dig in this particle deal and you're not just copying and pasting these, this section, my recommendation is just to copy and paste this section and then make and then make changes to the colors, background colors and stuff. Um, but just know that if you go in and you do end up, you know, here's the individual code for the particle ground. But you can't have more than one of these on the same page. So keep that in mind when you're setting the colors and this this video goes through all the options that you can do that you can do here there's tons um, so yeah so that's probably more advanced our support team unfortunately can't support that feature because it's not natively ours it's just something fun that I wanted to add in and uh, yeah besides that I hope you enjoy arrow I hope that it fits some projects for you I can't wait to see what you create with arrow again this is John with Superfly, besuperfly.com. Thanks for checking these tutorials out. Um, yeah, and we'll see you soon.